In other news tonight, the jury deliberating the case of alleged mob boss Nikki Scarpo and 16 associates worked well into the evening again, but still we have not reached a verdict. Action News reporter Dan Cuellar is live at the federal courthouse in Center City with the latest. Dan? After five hours and 45 minutes, the jury completed their first day of deliberations with a number of questions to the judge concerning the statute of limitations and how it affects this case and concerns that some of the charges of conspiracy and racketeering appear to be redundant. They're the types of questions that led prosecutors to believe that the jury plans to be quite thorough before reaching a verdict. That the jury is not only going through this with a good deal of attentiveness, but also with a good deal of savviness as to what the law is. And by the questions that, were, uh, were, that they asked, they asked questions that were um, indicated to us a good degree of intelligence. Nikki Scarfo's lawyer, Robert Simone, also believes the questions indicate something else. Uh, no, I think the questions indicate that the jury was almost totally confused as to what the charges were. And now that they've been straightened out, I think they were going to know soon enough by the next question, or possibly by a verdict, what these questions meant. Jury members have been away from their homes and sequestered for two months now. Tired and worn as they are said to be, they're expected to return here tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock to continue their deliberations. I'm Dan Poyet, Channel 6 Action News at the Federal Courthouse. Thank you, Dan.